Hi everyone. Well, not long now to to we're off to Italy, uh, and how exciting! I think it's just under a month. Uh, so I thought I'd do a packing demo because uh, at our last meeting of the group, uh, a few people wanted to see how I pack into this carry-on size suitcase. Um, now, just checking the the size requirements for carry-on with Emirates. Um, this actual suitcase that was sold to me as a carry-on is about that much too big uh, for their requirements and actually it's starting to go, uh, the packing is starting to get a little bit heavier than the 7 kilograms. So I've decided that I will, even though I want to take this size, I will still check it in and just have my um, bag uh, with a few things in it to take on the plane. Uh, so I will go ahead without any further ado and show you how I pack in this size. Now the reason why I like to pack this size bag is because it's not only about um, the plane, the trip, it's about getting around when you're actually there. So um, to Take a bag this size is so much easier to get around with, uh, depending on how you're traveling, whether it's bus, train, or uh, trying to wheel over cobblestones and all sorts of things up alleyways and all over the place. Um, I find that this size is so much easier to take than a larger bag. And um, surprisingly, it's, it is surprising the amount that you can actually fit into a bag like this. Um, this bag also expands uh, to be bigger if I need it bigger, but I'll try to keep it to this size before I go. I know it'll probably expand by the time I come back home again. Um, I've actually probably packed way too much more than what I need. So I will. I will, thought I'd just do it as an exercise to show you uh, what you can pack into this size bag, but I may even cull some clothing out that I probably won't even need. Um, so also what I do is I do a list um, of what I'm taking, and that's just my checklist. I'm a bit big on doing lists, so um, I do like to do a list uh, so I know that I've got everything. So in here I've got clothing, I've got medications, I've got toiletries, um, hat, um, I've got my art gear, another pair of a pair of sandals. I wear my joggers, these. Um, you wear the heaviest items of clothing um, and pack your lightest. So I'll just go ahead and show you, I'll unpack. Now the way I like to pack, I like to pack in pods. So pods means uh, packing in sections. Um, I used to pack with, you could buy zippered uh, bags and different sections that you could pack in. But I've found that I've gone right back to how I used to pack and that is with uh, Kiplock bags. And I find these are the easiest and the best because you can squeeze the air out of them uh, to make more room. And also I can see what I've got uh, when I get there rather than rummaging through and thinking now what's in that bag that I can't see in. Uh, I can see exactly what I've got in every bag. So in here I have, I'll unpack it as I go. I'll show you what's in here later. That's my list. So this is just a little Katmandu or you can get from other places. It's a little backpack. So I always take that for when I'm there. I might need a backpack when I'm there. Um, this is my medication in one bag. Here's uh, what have I got on my list? So let me go through the list. So I've got four dresses. I've got two camisoles. I've got one bra, four pair of undies, one skirt, 
three pair of linen pants, three linen sleeveless tops, one pair of swimmers, one cooling towel, and I'll tell, tell you what that is in a minute, uh, a belt, a hat, a sleeping t-shirt. I don't take uh, pyjamas, I just take another t-shirt that could be used as well, um, and I'll just wear undies or something like that with it. Um, and three t-shirts, medications, toiletries, charger, and Euro plug. Okay, so that's my list. So I've got dresses, tops, uh, this is makeup and toiletries. I've got, there's a little pair of swimmers that is just stuck in. I've got t-shirts. I wanted a belt this time. I really missed having a nice belt last time to put around a dress. I've got a linen shirt and some other shirts in there. As I said, I think I've packed way too much. I don't think I need all of this. I think I'm going to cover some of it. I've got some linen sleeveless tops, bras and undies, another little Blouse, I think that's going to go because I don't think I need it. Three pairs of linen pants and some dresses and another top. A couple of dresses in there and I've got a skirt as well. Um, this is a ice towel. Uh, some of the ladies had this the last time when we went to Greece and it was great. I thought, what a great idea, I'll get one. So I got that from one of, I think it might have been Kathmandu or somewhere like that, I had them. Uh, no, it was Anaconda had them, that's where I got it. Uh, and you wet the towel, put it around your neck, it keeps you cool when it's really, really hot. Um, we might not, it might not be that hot when we go, but it'll be beautiful weather, it's going to be stunning weather. So I've got excess uh, art gear in here. And I've got my sandals in here. These can also be worn in the water, these ones. These are Zerali, bought online. And um, they're very, very comfortable. They're really spongy, so they'll be great for walking around. And there's a scarf in there. A little bit more of art materials. Uh, that's it. So that's the whole pod system. Now with these... Quick block bags. I roll everything. I put it in and I squeeze out as much air as possible. Then you get it nice and tight. So then I just pack it in standing up around the sides. Reduce as much as you can. That goes in there. I've got a canopy bay hat this time I'm taking because it squashes down nicely to almost nothing. And there I am. There's the bag. This is the bag I take on the plane 
and this is a bag I use all the time when I'm away. I'm not taking any other bags. This is it. So in the back here, I like to take my art gear on the plane because I do like to do a bit of sketching on the plane or if I'm sitting around in an um, airport. I'll just lay that down again. Uh, I've got some face masks and my neck pillow one of those this one that just wraps around supports your neck so you can sleep um, it goes in there <coughs> then on this side have some medications uh, tissues I'll put my um, passport and wallet in there there's plenty of room for that and my phone and just some bits and pieces in the front gum and all that sort of stuff that you might need and that that's that's all i take on the plane and a scarf so i just like to have a scarf to wrap around me if i get a bit cool around the neck or the shoulders um and that's it um so if you've got any questions just um let me know I'm happy to answer any questions. So you can see it's, it is quite easy to pack small. You just reduce everything down. Uh, you decant any uh, toiletries into smaller bottles and um, just try and just take as much as you need and without overdoing the packing. Uh, talk to you soon. Bye.